Everyone gaslit the sh out of me for weeks. started this a few times because I don't really know how to like re start and like pick up on vlogmas after the events of the last few days so here hello we're back I just like don't even really know what to do with myself. I'm so overwhelmed with emotion still and I feel like I'm still processing a lot at a very rapid pace in my brain. My brain literally just sounds like at all times right now. So we're engaged. Jeremy proposed on Sunday the 18th of Vlogmas Day 18 and I started vlogging in the morning as if it was gonna just be a regular day. Wait till you see parts of the vlog, especially when I'm like in the dress and about to go down for the picnic. I feel like you can tell that I'm kind of having an out of body experience flip flopping back and forth on like what may or may not happen in the next 15 minutes or so. And so I vlog the morning as as if it was just a regular day. <laughs> you can definitely feel the sus vibes um, pouring out of me in the footage, which is so funny to watch back. We also did an entire podcast episode last week on me like recounting how I got faked out for a proposal that was not gonna happen, but I like walked through the signs of why I thought that it was a possibility, but then it all got canceled, plans got changed, and it wasn't going to happen. So anyway, there's an entire hour long podcast episode Episode that'll be going up next week of what my mindset was a week ago when I thought that it might be happening But then I was like very sure that it was not happening. So there's there's that to look forward to these past few days have just felt like an absolute fairy tale my parents got into LA uh, yesterday which would have been the day after the proposal and um, we've really just been like soaking up feeling like this right now. Jeremy's mom will be arriving into LA in a few days so we get to celebrate and parents get to meet for the first time which is gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. That's a whole separate thing and it's gonna be it's all gonna be great. And I think just like overall I've thought obviously a lot about getting engaged but what I'm quickly learning is that I didn't really spend that much time thinking about what happens after you get engaged like obviously you get married after you get engaged and like you start like that process but I really and truly did not think about the planning process and like what happens next if that makes any sense so if you have any tips on some life-changing advice for the next steps in the planning process all of this please let me know because I truly did not spend any time thinking about that now I'm like what do I do now? So I guess let's dive into Vlogmas Day 18. I posted a TikTok kind of like going over the signs of why I was like starting to potentially pick up on some context clues of why a proposal might be happening. But again, I truly was flip-flopping back and forth the entire day. And I think with the expectation that you like you might be getting engaged, you also, if it were to not happen, like you don't want to ruin an incredibly planned picnic, whether there was going to be a proposal or not. Let's watch the footage. Um, and so now, knowing what you know, it's funny to watch it back. So anyways, here's Vlogmas Day 18, the beginning of it. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. It is the definition of a perfect day in Malibu today. Oh my god, look at this sky. <gasps> it is beautiful. Oh my god. I can't imagine owning this house and being so rich that like you don't have to stay here. You know what I mean? Like that's just so crazy. We had a perfect little cozy night in yesterday, went to bed early so we get to enjoy the full day here today. I think we're gonna do a little beach walk and then I think the plan today is a cute little beach picnic. This is the best Christmas present ever. We saw some dolphins this morning. Literally Malibu just like doesn't feel like a real place. Like I know that we're only an hour outside of LA, not even, but it does not feel like a real 
place. Like, are you kidding me? It's December right now. This is wild. It is so wild. It just like doesn't feel real. So we're gonna go for a little beach walk. A little beach walk and we'll be back. Oh my God, there are dolphins. I feel like the zoom is not gonna be good enough. Oh my God. 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 Oh my fucking, are you kidding me right now? Are you actually kidding me? Hair is curled, makeup is on. I can't remember if we already said what we're doing today. We're doing a little beach picnic and I've got my picnic attire. That's just my sticky bra. I've got my little picnic attire on. What we didn't know about this Airbnb is that there are about 60 stairs down to the private beach, which is incredible because that means that there are very, very few people on the beach. On our little beach walk, I think we maybe walked by four people total over an hour, which was incredible. Like it's so private and just like so secluded, but we do have 60 stairs to go down. So I've got cute little shoes as well too. Cause I think Jeremy's gonna let me finesse them into a few photos. So I'm gonna bring my shoes and potentially walk down in my Uggs question mark. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Today is truly the perfect day though. It's like just about 4 PM and the sun is about to start getting a little bit lower and it's gonna be beautiful and I'm so excited. And then I think we have a dizzer, a dizzer, <laughs> a dinner <laughs> reservation. <laughs> I'm dying, I'm dying. You know what though, if I were to die in this house, I would not be mad. And then I think we have a dinner reservation later and um, that I think is gonna be it for the day. But this house is insane, insane. I've settled into this house quite nicely and I'm not having a hard time adjusting to this level of luxury and this view. Like literally, I was just sitting on the couch just existing looking out at the fucking dolphins that looked like they were placed there. Dolphins, go. This house is nuts. This house is seriously nuts. But anyways, uh, I think the dress is from Princess Polly and hair brought to you by Casey Welch Extensions. So I don't really, again, I, I'm really like struggling to use any portion of my brain right now because I've been so excited. But please let me know what kind of question slash content I can make answering questions? Question mark? Maybe just a sit down video kind of like going through the whole thing? Question mark? More question marks? <laughs> Let me know if there's anything specific that you want to hear more about. It was the proposal of my absolute dreams times the one billion million kajillion. It was legitimately the perfect day. The weather on Saturday was absolute ass and Sunday could not have been more perfect. The ring also exceeded every single possible expectation that I could ever have. Like it is absolutely stunning. It sparkles and glitters and just catches the light in the most insane ways. I look like I'm not on this planet cause I just like am standing like this all day, every day. Like I am truly that obnoxious person right now. So that is my current state. I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm so happy and overwhelmed with emotion and love. And also I just wanna say thank you. Like on behalf of Jeremy and I, y'all have been so insane insanely supportive and happy for us. And it makes me, I just like, I can't even put into words how grateful I am to have so many people who are so supportive of Jeremy and I, and we love you from the bottom of our hearts and thank you. And I cannot wait to continue on this journey. This section is so cheesy, but I don't know what to do with myself. Okay, well my parents are here and um, I think we're gonna see some Christmas lights tonight potentially and play a little Catan. Add Advent calendar with the family now. So we've got, uh, we've, uh, I, my brain is just not functioning. Okay, okay, goodbye. Moose. Oh, Did you know about this? Did you know about this? Did he approve this with you? Did he ask your permission? What did you say? Did you say yes? I gave him one medium value treat. <laughs> and he said yes, medium value. Puppies, you said yes! You said yes! That's so nice! Which is like, is it time for the fucking advent calendar yet? What are we doing? Oh, look at him. Look at him. Wow, all I've been thinking about are those TikToks where it's like, once you get engaged, everything that you hold is just like this, is like, this is like this is like this. It's just ring front and center of everything. 
Oh my God. Oh, I haven't looked at it, the vlog camera up close. Wow. God, it is so sparkly. You get to keep it until next week till we have to send it back. Till next week? Yeah. Yes, I that's prefer. so exciting. I am gonna be that annoying bitch for <laughs> an extended period of time and I am so sorry and I apologize in advance, but <laughs> so Please, look. Look. <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself? Hi. <laughs> Hi. I feel pretty good about it. You feel pretty good about it? Yeah. I also feel like everyone was like, oh, what was your parents' reaction? But everyone knew. Everyone bamboozled me for so long. I asked them and they said, are you for sure? For weeks. Do you know all the other things we've been lying about? <laughs> yeah, what are the other things we've been lying about? <laughs> everyone was way Boy. too comfortable lying to me. Honestly, Remy went through the most like face-to-face -face lying out of everyone, I think. I really put her through the ringer, obviously without knowing. She really had to take on a lot of face-to-face -face lying, especially in Big Bear. There was the specific morning, and we will recount all of this on the vlog, where I was fully spiraling thinking that it was happening, and Tiff was not awake, and Mia obviously was not able to come to Big Bear with us, so Remy, solo, had to take the brunt of an hour's worth of spiraling and lying while knowing everything. And I've never been so proud of her, but also uncomfortable with the fact that she was such a good liar, even though that I know that she was spiraling on the inside. The whole inside joke was Operation Spiral. Operation Spiral was literally what it was called. Of subtext was Operation Gaslight. Because everyone gaslit the shit out of me That's for true. weeks. Operation Spiral. Operation Spiral! Oh, December 17th or 18th. Ah! Look at me. I photographer. <gasps> oh my backdrop, god. Dogs, clothing, tailor, <gasps> Lauren's outfit, location, and everything. Oh my god. Operation Spiral. Operation Spiral. Okay, my battery's at 2%. I'm gonna change the battery out, and then I think it's time for a full Riyamaki advent calendar. Hi, Bobbies. Oh, look at the family. Moose Louis. Moose Louis. Diggy had to get a few vaccines today, so he is in a deep vaccinated slumber currently. But tomorrow, I can't wait to ask Diggy what he thinks of the ring and ask Diggy if he also gave his blessing for all of this. <laughs> okay, 1% battery, 1% battery, no one move, no one move. I realized that Diggy hasn't tried that many new foods outside of a few fruits, and so I was going to today start a new segment just like of Diggy trying new foods, but Diggy is like literally so tuckered out. But I do have a piece of spinach and a cooked fettuccine noodle that Moose can now have two of. Moose will eat, I'm not kidding, literally anything. I have not found a single food, celery, lettuce, everything that he will not eat. Ah, 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 ah gentle. Spinach, delicious, yum. This is the pre-advent calendar advent. Sit. Good boy. Mmm, more spinach. Oh my God, when he gets the nose wrinkles, it's so cute. Spits it out, picks it back up. Bobby, sit. Good boy. Oh no. <laughs> And then you get Diggy's fettuccine as well too. Oh my God, I think Moose had a mild case of crazy eyes there. Okay, is it advent calendar time? Is it advent calendar time? <laughs> wow! As soon as the piano bench comes out, we know what time it is. But I can't move the bench if you're in the way. I can't move the bench if you're in the way. Thank you so much. Places, places please, places. Oh, bless you. Oh, it's so sad that our first advent calendar back with the family all here is without Diglett. Okay, Bubbies, double Tritos today. Is it time? Is it time? I think we're behind two days. <gasps> Bubbies. Oh, we're gonna have to save so many of these for Diggy. We've got day 19. Oh, good, we sent the little one. Oh, they're little mini pretzels. Day 20. I think those are the same thing. Oh, no. Yeah, I know they're <laughs> slobber. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can I have this paw? Thank you so much. Very close. Can I have this paw one more time? Thank you. Gentle. Oh, 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 oh. Not super gentle. Who's down? <gasps> okay, gentle. Gentle. No. Who's down? Who's puppy down? Gentle. No, gentle. No, gentle. Gentle. That was gentle-ish. We're gonna do Bubby's main story. I feel like it's too distracting when we've got Diggy on the scene, but we just got Bubby solo. Sit, down, wait, ah, 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 wait, wait, ah, 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 wait. Okay, yeah! Who is this boy. smart boy? Who is this smart boy? Diggy with this too? 
Yeah, Diggy's gonna do this one tomorrow. This exact same shark. We're gonna. It's okay. We're gonna work on it. He and then vaccines today. Yeah. It's the vaccines today. Yeah, big, day, big, big day, big day. And okay. we'll follow up on day 21 with these um, fancy tricks. Okay, go back. That's so nice. That's so nice. <laughs> Puppies, you're getting smothered. Goodbye. <laughs>